Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Hi guys, welcome to One Minute Tennis.com. In today's session, I want to talk to you about how to blend rotation with linear force to create the perfect forehand stroke. And I want to show you a great technique that will allow you to get this perfect timing into your stroke immediately. Now, in a previous video, the link to that's above, we explained how the forehand is not just rotation, but rotation and linear movements blended into one. What happens with the stroke is that we rotate through to contact and then at contact the body becomes quiet and the shoulders become still and then the arm is projected forwards and then the racket accelerates past the arm. So what we're creating is the true kinetic chain. The body first with the rotation, the rotation stops and now the arm accelerates and now the racket accelerates and suddenly with the still shoulders and the still torso it becomes racket, arm and body. So body, arm, racket, racket, arm, body. But if the rotation of the torso is stopped too early, then we end up playing with just the arm. And if the rotation of the body is too late, then the body is leading the stroke all the way through and the stroke naturally becomes very pushy and slow. And it's very hard and a lot of effort to create power. So how to create this perfect sequence of timing? And the key to this is to use your left hand. You see, if I come through the stroke and I'm now, instead of bringing my arm across the body here, which is the correct thing to do, we're going to do it in a moment, I'm going to bring the arm here and I'm going to stop it right there. See, normally the hand would come across the body to here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the hand here. And now as the body turns, it's going to collide with the hand. So I'm here, stop and swing. And once again here, stop and swing. And now the hand becomes a natural anchor for the stroke. Looking at it from another direction, we go back into the take back position here. See the hand is in the perfect position to stop the shoulder. And now I swing quickly and the shoulder hits the hand. The shoulder is stopped. The shoulders become quiet. The torso becomes quiet and the racket and the arm accelerate past the body. By using the off hand in this fashion, you get the perfect timing of the body arm racket, racket arm body. Because you see naturally as the left arm has gone parallel to the net, it's now positioned perfectly to come across and stop the shoulder at exactly the right point. My suggestion then is to do this slowly because the precision of this timing is really the key to it all. Every top player that you've seen in the last 20 years has this to perfection, this rotation and then lack of rotation is done to perfection. So to begin by literally hitting the hand, and now just try and touch the shoulder. So I'm in place here, and I touch and stop. I'm in place here, and I touch and stop. And now I'm going to try the same thing, leaving the hand there, but not actually making the touch. So I'm in place, and I stop just before. And I'm in place here, and I stop just before. And then, of course, naturally, we shadow into trying to stop the torso and keep those quiet shoulders, that quiet body during contact and allowing the racket to whip through and provide power and spin. Then of course the natural thing to do is to go into hitting and to see whether we can get this perfect kinetic chain. You should feel a difference in the power on the ball almost straight away and a little bit more spin as well, even if you're not trying to create more effect on the ball. Let me know how this works in your game. I'd love your feedback. You know I try to reply to every comment. And if you like our ideas on tennis, have a look at our off-court services. Online, I'm helping players in over 40 countries all over the world with personalized one-to-one -one lessons and video analysis. Or check out our books on Amazon. We have books on every part of the game. Everything is designed in the books to be a teaching and learning experience. They have very clear explanations and great illustrations. Everything is designed to help you become the best version of yourself. So don't have a linear forehand. Don't have a rotational forehand, have a blend of the two with the perfect timing that's required for an absolutely huge forehand. Thanks for watching and see you next time for more unique tennis lessons that really work.